Hey, what up, everybody? Um, I am here with my 3.30 in the afternoon coffee to show everyone how to set up their Infinite Campus gradebook for standards-based grading. So, uh, instruction, gradebook. Uh, there has been the slightest of changes in this, which is why I'm making this new one. Um, I will say that my webcam is so much better than the situation I had last time I made one of these. So I guess that's kind of cool in the old upgrade department. Okay, grade calc options. Now, if you're in first, if you're setting it up for first semester, make sure you're in term one. And I'm going to set mine up for term four here. So uh, settings, okay, grade calc options. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up key focus one for each term. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with key focus one and then the term three times. Okay, so key focus one and term four, we're going to turn this on in progress. Grading scale, this is what's changed. It used to say HS dash standards, now it just says standards. Okay, we're going to weight categories, cumulative starting in four. Again, if this was first semester, it'd be cumulative starting in one. Okay, down on six weeks. First six weeks, we're going to turn on composite. In progress, standards. And then here, we're going to pick that first key focus that we just uh, turned on. So four key focus topic one. And we're going to weigh that at 100. Okay, that just means that Every grade you have is just going to fall into that um, that task. All right, right below that is five key focus one. In progress, standards, weight categories, cumulative starting in four. Okay, it's going to be cumulative starting in four each time. We'll go to, down to second six weeks, and you can see we're repeating here. Turn on composite. In progress, standards. Now we're going to choose five key focus topic one. Now, in the event that you may have chosen the wrong one, like let's say for fourth term, you accidentally picked five key focus topic one and you realized it and then you came down here and it was grayed out. So you went back to four and turned it and changed it and then came back here and it was still grayed out. That is just a bug in Infinite Campus. So if you can't choose the one you want, if it's grayed out, meaning you've already selected it or you selected it and deselected it, it's just going to stay gray until you close this thing out and go back in. It's probably the number one source of frustration um, for people when they're setting these up. They think something is they've done something horribly wrong, and all it really is is a bug. If your key focus is grayed out, it's either selected somewhere else, or you just selected and deselected it, and it won't let you pick it until you leave and come back in. It's it can be frustrating. Anyway, five key focus topic one, again, weight 100. Right below that is our third and final key focus for the semester, six key focus topic one, in progress, standards, weight categories, cumulative starting, and four. Now, come down to semester, turn on composite, now, the grading scale on semester is the only one that's auto-selected. Like, it has one set in there by default. So a lot of times people will miss it, and it will be the source of grades not going the way they're supposed to grade when you get down to the, the sixth term or the third term, whichever it may be. You need to get in there and change it to standards just like the rest. Okay, and then task, of course, six, key focus, topic one, weight, 100. Save. Okay. This gradebook is ready to rock. Um, just because we're in here together, I'm just going to go make a fake assignment real quick and show you how that goes. Okay. Fake, fake, fake. I remember, at least for NTI, we only have mastery and progression. That's worth remembering. Not that you couldn't use engagement if you didn't want assignments to affect grades, but we can talk about that some other time. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just go. okay, let's put it in this progression. 
All right, so since I'm on term four, my one key focus topic one is already selected. I don't have to do anything there. It's just going to be whatever it is by date. All right. You can see here that it's going to auto set to today's date. The only time you need to fool with that is if you're putting in grades after the term is ended. Like let's say it's two days into the new term um, and you're putting in old grades, you would need to go and backdate those manually. All right, that comes up quite a bit actually. So other than that, you just need to change it to points and always do 100. Okay, that 100 is going to be uh, one of the most important parts in how your grade turns into a four scale grade. So if you don't put it at 100, things get pretty wonky pretty quickly. Okay, and it's it's confusing. So 100 points is crucial. And then after that, I can just save this thing. And then I could totally score it if I had students in here, but I doubt it's a fake class. Okay, that's it. That's how you do it. Um, I don't know if I already said lastly. I hope I didn't because lastly, you do have to do it for every class. It's super annoying, um, especially if you have a class that has like two different grade levels in or whatever. So there are two different spots in a finite campus. You have to go into each of them one at a time and do this. Um, you know, doesn't feel awesome that IC has not come up with a method to set your grade book up the same for all of your classes at the same time. Feels like a no brainer, but uh, no one's given me any calls and asking my opinion. So sorry about the hassle. Um, as always, if you have any questions, just, just holler.